Hi, I'm Oliver, age 24, and I will teach you how to draw. <laughs> oh, that's the theme song. Today, I'm going to be drawing Deadpool, who was originally a background character in Wolverine Origins. But people liked him so much that they've given him his own film, just like the Minions from Despicable Me. He's basically the minion of the comic book world. But anyway, let's quit with the history and start with the art history. <laughs> uh, so first of all, you want to draw the shape of a ridiculous hill. And surprisingly, that will form the shape of Deadpool's head. Fantastic. Now let's draw the eyes. You want to draw one slightly bigger rounder eye and a slightly smaller squashed eye to give a 3D effect on Deadpool's face. Let's draw his body and for that you just want to bear in mind that one arm should be slightly longer than the other arm and one leg should be slightly longer than the other leg. You also want to get roughly 10 toes and 10 fingers to get that professional anatomically correct look. Now most people don't know but when Spider-Man was released the internet turned him into a May May and they called him Spoderman. Now the art industry got really annoyed about Spoderman because they were serious about Spider-Man. So what they did to try and get revenge on the internet is came up with a ripoff of Spoderman and they called him Deadpool. And that is why his design is almost identical to Spider-Man's. Which is why we can use a 3D Spider-Man Red to colour in Deadpool. Now it's time to use the 3D eye bagging technique in which we draw bags around Deadpool's eyes. Which are there because he can't sleep. Because he's constantly trying to invent new internet may <laughs> uh, Classic Deadpool. And I'm just going to colour those in using a 3D eye bag black colour, which can be found in all professional art programmes. Beautiful. That looks fantastic. Now, it might look a lot like Spider-Man without a mouth and with two black eyes, but I didn't design the character. That's just what it looks like. Let's draw a 3D circle on his chest to add the X-Men logo, which is obviously just a 3D X, and then you can use the 3D X-Men grey colour to colour in the circle. Now I'm going to turn this 3D realistic drawing of Deadpool into a 3D comic book drawing of Deadpool. And I'm just going to do that by adding a speech bubble and his famous comic book quote, I am Spider May May. And if you're a big Deadpool fan like me, you'll know that Spider May May was the original name of Deadpool. Don't say that I never taught you anything, because I just did. In fact, all of my videos are educational, so there you have it. Now to finish this off, we just need to draw Deadpool's 3D ninja sticks. And we can do that using the ninja sticking technique, in which we draw perfectly symmetrical elongated quadrilaterals. And you can find out more about those on page 69 of the official encyclopedia of art. Now, I'm just going to sign that with my name and age to make it a professional piece of work. Fantastic. This looks just like Deadpool. And obviously, by association, Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, two heroes for the price of one. Now, let's take a look at how my previous student, Neef, got along with this tutorial. Let's see what he managed to draw. Oh, Neef. How the hell has he managed to draw that? It looks like some sort of furry red monkey version of Deadpool. He's got missing fingers. His foot's been ripped off. Somehow he's managed to do a hole in his chest with a spider in it. And why the hell has he got a mustache? 
And wait. Oh. Oh my god. He's drawn a penis. He's drawn a tiny little micro penis on the Deadpool. Thanks a lot, Neef. You have successfully lowered the tone once again. Hopefully next time you'll learn how to draw really good. So please leave a comment if there's anything that you are struggling to draw. And I, your senpai, will teach you. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I am potato.